I'm on the weather screen now, and everything on this screen, as far as the the numbers go, and these graphics that you see, are all brought in through RSS. So over here, we've got the temperature, current temperature. I'll click on that, and that is set with the status tracking over here on the right property. Um, I'll click on the status tracking. The association type is RSS data. Okay. And by default, this would have said none, so I would select RSS data. Uh, click on the edit button, and this is going to bring up the RSS uh, editor. Now, from here, you can put in any RSS feed URL that you want, okay? And you can get these all over the Internet. These are some defaults, some common ones are included. And the current weather is what we're looking at right here now. This is the weather bug um, RSS feed. So. Once you select one, and I'm going to do it like uh, we're starting from scratch. Let's do uh, current weather. Okay. It's going to ask me for a zip code. So I'm going to enter the zip code of where I am. Um, that formats this URL for you, and then I can click on get data. And what this does is this goes out to the uh, RSS feed and gets the data that's available from that feed. It gets all the data. So now what you want to do is you want to pick the data that you want to display on the screen. Sometimes this takes a little searching. Now, for example, now I know I want the current temperature, but I don't know where it is. So basically, I've got to cycle through this data. And there's sometimes it can be a lot of it. But see, here's the, the days. It has actually has the time is included. But if I keep going through here, um, here's the current condition. I could add that to my screen if I wanted to. And here's the icon. If I click on that, it's going to display the graphic down here so I can see what it looks like. So if I want to include a graphic, I just click on that, click OK, and the graphic will be included. Right now we're looking for the current temperature. And uh, there's uh, wind speed and so forth. There's the current temperature right there, 25 degrees. And like I say, sometimes you have to search a little bit to find the data you want. Um, but there it is. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, what I clicked on displays the bottom, which is just the data that's going to be associated with that element. Click OK, click OK, and that's what's going to display here for that, uh, for that element. 